Bed Spoon <laughs> Chimes. <laughs> PSYCOP, CSI, and the Center for Inquiry, congratulations and thank you for your service. <laughs> I am overwhelmed. <laughs> <laughs> the greetings from Uri Geller, by the way, too. Okay, um, so now uh, what happens next is we're going to get an explanation of the, the award, the real award ceremony you're about to see tonight. And to give the explanation about the award is last year's winner, Richard Wackrow. Okay, I didn't know about this until this year because um, previous winners are formed the committee uh, to decide who's the award the following year. So that's basically it. And there are some other, let's see if I get this right now, folks. There are some other qualifications. You have to be active in skeptical activities outside the toolbox. And, uh, and and currently active, so um, we're gonna make a mystery out of this, Jim. I'm gonna give some clues about who, who this person is without saying what his or her name is. Um, this person has been active in skepticism for many years, probably at least a, 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 over a decade. Um, the person has been also active in, active in the uh, humanist world as well, but uh, this is a skeptical award, so we'll focus on that. Um, the person, if you want to say the pronoun, but, uh, the person uh, has been involved in a regional skeptical group for a long time and has more recently taken an interest in a key role in a more specific group that involves uh, the testing of paranormal claims and the investigation of paranormal claims. And the person has uh, spent a lot of time uh, doing negotiations for the testing of paranormal claims. So, um, Perp, you want to come up? Herb, yeah, why don't you come up to actually present the award? I've already, I would say I've already got it, so. <laughs> yeah. um, why don't you give the actual name of it? Oh, I want to say one more thing about this person. Um, and this is actually a, a really important thing, because in our world, in the world in general, and in skepticism in particular, it's very important not to get sucked into something called groupthink. Groupthink is when there's peer pressure around for everybody to agree, and we all kind of get channeled into saying the same thing and thinking the same thing. And this person is probably as little susceptible to groupthink as anyone I've ever met. This person is not afraid to be the only person in the group to stand up and say, no, I disagree, or there's a problem with what everyone else is saying. And that's a valuable function, because sometimes it feels a little socially awkward when that happens, but it's an extremely valuable function for getting an issue right and making sure that we're checking ourselves and not just falling in line because it feels good. So that's the last key to the puzzle. With that, I give it to her to present the award. Really? So do we have the award? It's right here. Uh-huh, okay. <laughs> so <laughs> have you figured out who you are? Does anybody out here know? Because in the past, there was another style for delivering this, and uh, because they're not here, we're not going to do that. But um, at any rate, I've been asked to add a little bit more. So I've known a lot of you people, and so one of you that I know is uh, going to soon be the bearer of the... Skeptics Toolbox in the Trenches Award for 2014. And right now, a few of us know. So, um, with that in mind, um, I do want to award it to a very good friend who knows what's coming. So, one of the things that I want 
want to point out is normally people get a toolbox awarded to them that is pristine, aside from fingerprints on here. But this one I processed in advance by removing the labeling on the back, and the solvent I used to glaze off. So you actually have a broken in toolbox to work with. Oh, well, I, I think I can manage that. Okay. So there's one more part to this, and I'm going to turn this thing off. Yes. Oh. They misspelled my name. <laughs> Wherever he is. That's not just me then. <laughs> you have to change your you name. You are not going to get out of this this easy. <laughs> but it's not my name. Well, Jerry, right. that's my fault. No, you don't pick on so me. So allow me. And where, me. where's. Actually, we have uh, something else. What's here? Homonyms count. There it is. So this is. Yeah. This is what I've been waiting for, is, Jerry, I got this hat many years ago. This was one of the first rounds. Janine Denoma and I got the in the Trenches Award, and we were the second ones to receive it. And with that, I hang that up there. And with this, I de-hat you. Oh. <laughs> and I de-hat myself. <laughs> Herb knows what it says, that I try and remember to bring to this meeting, but I forgot it this time, and um, it says cynic on it, not stick. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but I forgot it, so I'm glad I had one, I had to take back. The well, there's a whole other side, you know, you could still, huh? get, you could still get cynic embroidered on the other side. I could. <laughs> well, they're not mutually exclusive. Like yeah. No, there. definitely not. I wouldn't, didn't want to suggest they were. And normally, okay. one other thing though, and normally everybody gets a toolbox and that's it. But because of Jerry's special part, Jerry's flying home tomorrow by uh -huh. in an airplane. Uh -huh. um, and I may not be able to get on the plane if I try and take this stuff. I, 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 it was hard to check my last. <laughs> <laughs> they, they went through metal detectors and they were like, what the heck is this? Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to try and check I would check your back. UPS. Yeah. UPS. 25 bucks for this toolbox. Yeah. There you go. So there were so these were things that were donated, whatever, from a, a group of us have all kind of pitched together because we know these are the tools that Jerry needs to continue his work in the trenches, in the Bay Area, as well as otherwise. So with that, I'll let you share some of these things. With you. Okay. Well, all right. those are books. Those are good. Um, these are dice for all kinds Random of. Random number generators. Um, Probability randomization. Yeah. Important yeah. decisions. Yes. Um, it's a good way to make a decision because you can always blame the dice. And there's two different types of dice in there, by the way. Well, I can see that one, some are, one is 12-sided, one is two are 12-sided, one are six-sided. I would be, I, I can't see them all. I'm not sure they're actually regulation uh, <laughs> side. I'm skeptical. skeptic. I checked it. If they look from the side, I can see like regular dice. Let's just say there'll be a crap game in the hallway. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, we have 3D cat cards. Oh, it's got a, one of those. A Zograph. So, what, is it, what are they called? It's called a Zograph. A Zograph. That means they have a a Zoan. Crap. <laughs> uh, that's a deck of cards, I guess. That's because he's a cat guy. Yeah, yeah I've got two cats. That sounds um, good. Or they have me. It's hard to tell sometimes. <laughs> Coffee with Isaac Newton. That could come in handy. Next time I say Isaac, i Yeah, we'll have that dance for yeah. yeah. Um, Asthma spray. <laughs> Was <laughs> homeopathic? Uh, yes, homeopathic asthma spray. I kind of what? Yeah. Don't overdose on the theory. You won't believe how many ingredients there are on this. <laughs> no, no, the back is listing about 20 ingredients. Oh, Active three. ingredients. Do they have H2s and zeros on them? Uh, Actium, Napolis. 
All right, we don't need After, to No, you don't need it. <laughs> there's, nothing, they, there's nothing left in here, but... But there was no nothing there to start with either, so... Yeah. Um, this is tea of inquiry. Oh, <laughs> Green tea with toasted rice. Republic of Tea. Tea of Inquiry. That'll come in handy. This is a t-shirt. A Skeptical Inquiry t-shirt. Inquirer t-shirt, sorry. I have a whole... It's only half a shirt. I doubt it. I have a, a large collection of CFI t-shirts, but I don't have any... Uh, Hall. SI t shirts. So there you go. Um, greeting cards that say you have to be skeptical of everything. And there's a, somebody, the kid is setting up a camera at, on a chimney uh, to see if Santa really comes down the chimney. I don't know, are they all the same? Or very well, I'll find out. Yeah, I'll let yeah. you know. You're an, you have an inquiring mind, you'll find out. Um, we'll send him out. Oh. Ooh. A lot of bubble wrap and tape. I like, have a feeling. Oh, yes. This is a skeptical inquirer coffee mug, yeah. which will go to the front of my coffee mug collection. Tea. That's very tea. Tea? Yeah, it's a tea mug. There's a theme going. It's not coffee, that's a tea mug. A tea mug? No, it's a coffee mug. No, it's a tea mug. A t shirt. A t shirt. I'm sure we're we a tea mug. Uh, you drink your tea. Your tea. I don't drink tea much. Yeah, I mean, I, I, it's not that I oppose tea. There are things it I oppose. It doesn't hold tea, it only holds just, coffee. <laughs> I just no. don't drink it much. Um, and this seems to be some kind of tape with a spine on it. I'll, uh, I'll just help keep it handy for when I need tape. The cup's going to fall off. Uh, no, it's pretty secure. We'll see. <laughs> the Sky is the Limit by Neil deGrasse Tyson. Um, a CFI envelope, I guess there's something in it. Uh, a lot of I doubt it stickers and a Darwin thing for my car, which for some reason I don't have. I don't know why. I never put one on. Uh, a whole bunch of books. Definitely going to have to check these. I'll, I'll make a deal with you. If you have any of them, I'll transport that back for you. Um, <laughs> well, I have at least this one, Thinking Fast and Slow, I have on my Kindle. I don't, I don't buy um, any paper books much anymore because totally ran out of <laughs> Shelf space, space a long time ago, and I threw out uh, a couple years ago. Finally cleaned out the basement, threw out all my technical journals uh, that I've been accumulating for 40 years, and I think there were eight boxes of them, and that made some space for some more. But they were in the basement. Uh, Idiot America: How Stupidity Became a Virtue in the Land of the free. <laughs> How about land? <laughs> I may be read about the same person that wrote your name. No. <laughs> Lawrence of Arabia here. Right? Yeah. 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 <laughs> On being certain, believing you are right even when you're not. I know a lot of people <laughs> who I could give that book to. <laughs> 50 Great Myths of Popular Psychology. Uh, I've got that book. Scott Lillianfeld and, oh, and ba Barry Beierstein. For those of <laughs> Lindsay's father. For those who don't know who Barry Beierstein was, he was, when I started coming to the toolbox about 15 years ago, um, he was one of the fa regular faculty and he, Tragically died when? 2007. 2007. And um, that's got to be a good book. Yes, I got it. Do you believe in magic? 
<laughs> Mostly, most of you know the answer to that is no, but I'll take the book anyways. The Sense and Nonsense of Alternative Medicine by Paul Ockham. Think why you should question everything, including the... I don't have that one. Um, and Nonsense on Stilts, which Massimo Pagucci, mm. who is actually one of my real heroes. Uh, he's, and again, if people don't know who he is, he was an evolutionary biologist for a, lo a long career, and then he switched to philosophy and is now uh, the head of the Department of uh, Philosophy at Stony. Stony. NYU, yeah. or no, Stony Brook. Stony Brook? Yeah. Yeah, Stony Brook in New York, and who lives on the same block as my brother in Brooklyn. Yeah. So, he's a, he's a, he's a cool guy. Uh, thinking rationally. I thank you, and Very this good. is also a great bag. Um, I have a, one or two of these that I take to uh, the grocery store regularly. And occasionally, better get a cameraman credit on my Occasionally, <laughs> one or somebody says, great bag, very occasionally. Not as often as I would like. But. So, actually, yeah, well, one other thing I want to do is the part of this then yeah. is there are a bunch of other yeah. trenchers around here. So, you want to take care of that? Go yeah, for it. Yeah, anyone who's won this award in the past, Please step forward, we'll take a group picture. Yeah, we're going to take pictures. And then we'll commence with the manager. So, pass.